Hey there, voters. I'm Captain Stacey Hanrahan, and welcome to Friday's episode of Voters TV. First up, our captain's caption photo was provided by Carl Overlate. We'll reveal the caption of the day at the end of the show. Next up in nautical know-how, snoozing and a-cruising in our blue water sailing segment. Sleep experts say most adults need seven to nine hours of sleep for optimum health, performance, and safety. Unfortunately, during an offshore passage, when those things are needed most, watchkeeping schedules often only allow two to six hours of sleep at a time. So this week, Blue Water Sailing's Christine Melanson gives us tips for getting a good off-watch rest. First, stuff your bunk with extra pillows to ensure comfort. And use a lee cloth, even in calm seas. You'll never get any shut-eye if you have to use your muscles to stay in bed. Christine also recommends laying off the caffeine before you're off watch. A hot cup of coffee may be a great companion when on watch, but it's no friend when you want to catch up on your sleep. Find a way to relax just before going off watch. Try yoga or listening to calming music. A relaxed mind will lead to a better rest. Use earplugs to block out the noise. And don't worry, earplugs don't work that good. If someone needs you on deck and yells for you, you'll still hear them. And block all light as much as possible. Especially during the day, an eye mask will help you sleep. Finally, don't forget to use the head before going off watch. You want to dedicate every minute of your off watch to rest. Sleep deprivation can cause hallucinations and illusions, neither of which you want to experience on the high seas. So get some shut eye to ensure a safe passage. For more tips and information on choosing the right watch schedule for your crew, go to www.bwsailing.com. Now it's time for our Boat Test Reports Feature of the Week, where we'll take a look at the 22VE by Tyga. The 22VE from Tyga offers a bold new approach to water sports. Back here, they've placed three small lockers for soap, tow ropes, sunglasses, and other small stuff. The swim step is big enough for a beginner and a couple of coaches to move around on in safety. It's an easy step over the aggressive non-skid and into the cockpit. And underneath, there's a space for a big cooler that's conveniently hidden but readily accessible. The 22VE is rated for 14 passengers. Most of them can sit around this roomy cockpit. There's also a huge amount of storage space under the seats up forward, under both sides of the console, and under the cockpit seats. Here's a nice idea. The corner cushion flips to save wear and tear when the crew is coming and going. At the helm, switches and the standard Faria gauges are nicely laid out at your fingertips. Audio options are built around a satellite-ready Clarion CD tuner. These oversized drink holders are in convenient spots fore and aft. At 26.2 miles per hour, the 22VE was turning 3,000 RPM and burning 7.1 gallons per hour for a range of 155 miles. From a standstill, we planed off in 3.3 seconds and reached 30 in 6.6 .6 seconds. Our top speed was 45.6 miles per hour at 5,500 RPM. Great results, but pulling riders is what Tiger boats are all about. Moving taps. The effect on the bow is pretty dramatic. Watch the bow drop as we go from wakeboard to ski mode. The ability to change wakes so quickly and dramatically allows everybody in your family, skiers and boarders, both beginner and expert, to all share in the fun. Thanks to Boat Test for that report. To see more of the Tyga 22VE, you can cruise on over to Boat Test's website at www.boattest.com. Next in ship's domain, nautical charting children. So you've sent the kids back to school ready to learn reading, writing, and arithmetic. Well, I say it's never too early to start their boating education. And NOAA is making it easy with its online elementary educational program called Nautical Charts Message in a Bottle. 
The tool, designed for third through fifth graders, teaches students chart symbols, safe boating, and the importance of nautical charts. Young boaters follow a series of questions and a scavenger hunt to unravel a real mystery surrounding the USS Monitor, a ship that sank in 1862. They learn chart basics with the help of NOAA's animated characters, Cobalt and Safety Seagull. Students can watch underwater video clips of the monitor, listen to different marine sounds, and even design their own nautical chart. Message in a Bottle is the latest addition to NOAA's collection of online education tools. So if you're looking for a fun way to interest your kids in marine science, log on to www.oceanservice.noaa.gov forward slash education. And now it's time for this week's best bet in boating blogs. This week we're reading G-Captain. Founded by John Conrad, G-Captain is dedicated to ship captains and mates, maritime industry leaders, and just anyone interested in the shipping industry. John is a USCG licensed master mariner of unlimited tonnage. The G-Captain daily blog contains important and always interesting reports on the maritime community. Plus, John and his crew find and post some of the most captivating shipping images on the net. They're always open to comments, so check it out at www.gcaptain.com. And finally today, the captain's caption of the day is, Trust me, you won't get seasick. Permitted <laughs> by Alec Owen. <laughs> and that'll do it for this episode of the Voters TV. See you right back here on Monday.